G'day guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, just a bit of a new thing for me, I've done a couple of book reviews in the past and they have come across very well, so this is something I'm going to start doing a bit with my channel. Um, every now and then I'll do a bit of a review on a book. Um, so I've decided to start out with uh, this one here, which is The Complete Vader. Um, it is written by Ryder Windham and Peter Vilmer. Um, Ryder Windham's very well known throughout the Star Wars um, writing community, so... Very nice book. I managed to pick this one up for fifteen dollars um, on clearance. It was on clearance for twenty, and I asked if I could have a little bit more off because it had a little bit bit of a damage at the spine, um, but not too bad at all. So it's still everything inside is still intact. It's a picture of the spine. And it's one hundred and eighty-two pages. So. An absolutely amazing read. It's basically goes through the conception and creation of Darth Vader, um, a lot about his character, um, and everything Darth Vader. has got a lot about all the um, merchandise that has come out over the years. There's some absolutely fantastic artwork in here too. So I'll just give you a quick flick through and just show you the some of the highlights. Um, I haven't actually bookmarked any pages, but um. <clears throat> A very nice foreword there by Stephen Sansweet. So, very nice picture there of Darth Vader holding 3PO's head. So, very, very nice, very well set book. Um, like I said, some fantastic artwork. As you can see, I'll try and show it as best I can. Some of the very early artwork ideas. Obviously, a lot of Japanese sort of samurai influences there with the helmet. So just some so it goes through Vader's origin, a little bit of a chapter on that, and then it sort of goes through his story. Um, a lot of concept art too. It's a very familiar looking picture there on the on the left. Most of us have probably seen that one before. And there's lots of um a lot like the Star Wars Vault, which is a book I don't have. It does have lots of little pull out little um, pages and little features, sticker sheets and all that sort of stuff. It's more sort of um, sort of concept storyboard style artwork there of Darth Vader. So a lot of reading, um, but it's really a really interesting read. Um, we've got Darth Vader on the Star Wars poster there, very early on. So I'll just sort of flick through there. We've got a like I said, it's got a framed film cell there. It's not real; it's just printed, but sort of get the idea that they put a lot of these sort of little bits and pieces for you to pick out and have a look through. Um, so you've got a lot of posters, poster art, I sort of go through a lot. Now Enter the Sith Lord, this is sort of where they began um, picking who plays. So we've got some nice pictures up there of the actors that have played Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader, which is very nice. This is sort of one of those pull-out features, like I was saying. There are a few of these in the book. Some nice sort of design um, in terms of his suit. And Darth Vader costume instructions, which is just a copy of a letter from Lucasfilm, which is cool. So just lots of little bits and pieces like that sort of slide in and slide out. So that's a really cool feature of this book. Um, let me sort of skip through. To a few more of them. Here is another one. Sort of folds out to some greater artwork that wouldn't normally fit on one page. So it's really well done all the way through. Um, I really, really do recommend this book. Um, another a few more fold out tabs there. Um, yeah, it goes through a lot of information about Darth Vader. Anything you can sort of think of, it's probably in here. Um, there we go, The Empire Expands, another chapter. So we sort of go through the first toys. Um, toy advertisements, uh, all sorts. It's just, yeah, really interesting. Lots of little bits and pieces. There's Darth Vader proton torpedo. And sorry, I've just bumped my camera stand over. We'll get the hang of this thing. 
your stickers. Um, More trading cards. There are some. St there is a sticker sheet in here somewhere, but go through different badges and all sorts of stuff. All sorts of fantastic information. Nice one-page artwork there from Splinter of the Mind's Eye by Ralph Macquarie. Very nice painting. I really do like that painting. You go through the parodies. There's Dark Helmet. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of. A lot of information about Darth Vader. There's the sticker sheets. They're actually real stickers. They're not the originals, of course. They're just reprints, but very nice anyway. I'm not going to remove them, but I sort of skip through a little bit so we can. Now we go to Anakin. Chapter being, oh, I was a teenager. No, I was a teenage Vader. <laughs> they got some sort of concept art work of Anakin. Of course, they're with a sort of hairdo looking like Vader's helmet, so that's very interesting. We go through, go through a bit of Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's a really, really good book. It shows some um, of the video games Darth Vader's been in. Of course, Force Unleashed, Lego Star Wars. I love this piece of art from this Force Unleashed video game. Fantastic stuff. Um, some other goes through a lot of other books that Darth Vader's been in. Just try and flick through this more Star Wars action, Darth Vader action figures: the White Darth Vader, the Celebration Three exclusive, Power of the Force, the Macquarie concept. Um, yeah, a lot of information in here. It's it's actually quite sensational. Um, some of the vintage figures there. Of course, you've got the Power of the Force, Anakin Skywalker. A few of the vintage versions of Darth Vader there. And it sort of really goes into depth the sort of impact Darth Vader's had on popular culture as a character and as a symbol. Um, probably being one of the most recognisable icons of Star Wars. Fold out posters and stuff there. So I think it was a, for a phone commercial or something. And it's for a Panasonic TV. Let's try and fold that one back in. Well, different sort of toys and merchandise. You've got Darth Vader on a motorbike. Mr. Potato Head Darth Vader. All sorts of cool stuff. All sorts of cool stuff. Big Transformers. A lot of cool pictures, a lot of artwork, a lot of good reading. Um, definitely recommend this book if you can find it. It's been out for a few years. I can't remember how what year it came out. Came out in, but um, I'm sure if I look through the book, I'll be able to find it. There's a lot about Anakin Skywalker and. More merchandise there on the left. Just some more sort of comic artwork there. Which looks really cool. So I think I'll leave it at that for now. Um, if you like how I've done this video, you're definitely I'm up for some feedback just to see whether I can do something different or do it better and um, is there anything you would have liked to have seen done better definitely let me know um, so this is just something new I'm trying out so yeah I'll just sort of see how it goes and give you a flick through a book and see how things goes so that is the complete Vader I will try and find out when it was released. Um, I'm sure it's in the front. On one of these pages. <laughs> 2009. So there you go. So it's a few years old now, but definitely worthwhile. Definitely a great read. If you're into Vader, you'll love this book. Um,
like I said, 182 pages, a lot of reading, a lot of great material, can't recommend it enough. So, um, yeah, like I said, leave some feedback, let me know how you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video, if not, um, yeah, let me know, and we'll see what we can do. So, stay tuned guys, I'll be back with some more videos very soon, so until then guys, may the force be with you.